today I will be extracting tin metal from solder wire. So over here I have solder wire. Solder contains 60% tin and 40% lead. So on basis of that I am going to extract tin. I am taking one molar hydrochloric acid in a beaker. The solder wire is made the anode and a carbon rod is made the cathode. Now electrolysis is performed. After 15 minutes a sponge is formed on the cathode. Now after the sponge has grown bigger. I will harvest the crystals. I took out the crystals from the beaker and washed them with water. Then again put the cathode to get more crystals. The wire again and again broke so I melted the waste solder and made it the anode. Now after a few runs a lot of metal powder is extracted. I tested it. It contained lead as well as tin. So now we have to purify this. The crystals were first washed with water and one molar hydrochloric acid. and the solution was decanted off. Now we will wash it with water. The powder was finally washed with some water and the solution was decanted off. Two weeks ago I posted a community tab on what kind of videos would you like to watch. So maximum votes have been received to extraction of chemicals. But only 13 votes have been received. So if you haven't voted, please go and vote. Since lead was also present with tin, I have to purify the powder. So first we will dissolve the powder in concentrated HCl. So over here I am adding 10 milliliters of concentrated HCl. <coughs> On adding HCl, so, some bubbles are evolved. I kept this aside. This is the leftover anode and uh, I tried to extract lead chloride but I could not extract it so I discarded it. Now I heated up the solution so that hydrochloric acid could react faster. I also added 10 milliliters of additional hydrochloric acid. On heating the reaction got faster and you can see bubbles of hydrogen gas are being evolved. So now when after all the powder was dissolved the solution was cooled and the lead chloride crystals which were formed were filtered off. I washed the lead chloride with some distilled water.
this lead chloride will be purified by recrystallizing from hot water now this filtrate contains tin to chloride solution <coughs> Now this solution was diluted with some water. Now it was kept aside and lead chloride was dissolved in hot water, filtered and recrystallized. On I am extracting tin via electrolysis of tin to chloride solution. You can see that the solution has turned green and a spongy mass is obtained. I could not understand why I could not get tin crystals. If you know, please tell me in the comment section below. Why I was getting a spongy mass and not crystals as you can see on YouTube. The spongy mass was squeezed and washed with 1 molar dilute HCl. Two runs of sponges were, were extracted until the solution ran out of tin ions and the HCl was decanted off. The crystals were washed with distilled water. and then the crystals were left in sun to dry. This is the final yield of a tin and lead chloride. 1.7 gram of tin and 0.85 gram of lead chloride were extracted. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are in description.